G'day folks, Andy here from McDowell Manor. Well, you're gonna, and then you're going to say later when it doesn't work out, you'll say, see, this is her giving me the instructions. No, no, I just want to capture this right from the start. I did a video saying oh. what I was going to do this year and the quail pen was one of them. All right, so we're going to get four legs, 165 centimetres, and one leg that goes in the middle of the back at 1.8 to have the peak roof on it. And we're going to have four baseboards, um, 60 centimetres by 120 centimetres. Right. Okay. So what we're doing here is we're planning out the quail house. I am oft accused of not planning because, in fact, I never do. But in this particular occasion, Rosie is planning. And what will be interesting in this video Why don't you put it back on yourself is what goes right and what goes wrong. She's not keen on being on camera, no. my Rosie. So we'll move on. So here's how far we've got so far. And so there's the shelving that will be installed on each of the three levels, not the bottom. Uh, not the top because I don't think it needs a ceiling quite frankly. Oh, there goes one of the <laughs> One of the boy quails saying oh I like look at that dad um, Yeah, and then a tray will sit on top of that shelf so that should make the cleaning easier uh, Certainly should be a lot neater than what I've got at the moment. Well, there's today's effort uh, That bit on the side. It's not attached yet, but probably obviously uh, Rosie wants it to have solid sides so that's probably the easiest way of doing it. You can see I've put the shelves on. Now on top of those shelves will sit a tray. Um, uh, that way I can drag that out and clean it. And hopefully um, that'll work well. What I'm going to suggest to Rosie, it's not part of her design, so she'll probably think it's shit. <laughs> but that's okay. I'm going to suggest we frame the top up um, and that way I can run a little board across the top and she can get a sloped roof that way. She wanted me to use, I'll just spin you around and show you, this is a big leg on the back which would stick up above the top shelf and then put a piece of up on the front uh, from a cross beam but I think it's better doing it this way, framing it up and then just shoving a little board on top. I mean, how's this? bloody steep does the roof have to be for so here we are at the end of the next day you can see the sides are on Rosie's got her windows cut in the side the way she wanted them cut in that piece of wood on the top is to create a sloped roof and that's what you're looking at hot as hell again today so didn't get a lot of time spent it's on it it's been so bloody hot over here things have slowed down uh, today was I think 35 uh, I'll put a little note on the video what that is in Fahrenheit uh, but yeah not getting a lot done we have now done the first coat uh, I don't think I'll do the shelves Rosie wants me to do the inside of the walls as well but I'm not real keen on that quite frankly but I don't know she always wins <laughs> what she says goes so you're <laughs> I think you'll find that the, yeah, the insides of the walls get painted as well. Um, but that's looking a lot better, a lot less sort of bitsy. With, you know, all being mostly one colour. So I'm happy with that. Still got to add a little a lip across the front so that my trays slide in and then lock in neatly. So what I got done today was the trays. Another stinking hot day over here, folks. Um, so they just slide in and out. There's nothing that keeps them lined up or anything special. Um, don't really see the need for that, quite frankly. So just happy to have the trays in there. That'll let me clean them much, much easier. So there's the front top lips for those um, sliding drawers. Once I get a handle on them, that'll make life a bit easier. But you can see it slides out. And then just locks into place. Um... Also got the roof on in a kind of a way. Rosie insisted that it be sloped, uh, which was a bit tricksy. She wants me to change this bit here so it comes out full length. That's okay. I haven't, in fact, screwed it down completely because I was a bit worried about exactly that little issue. 
Um, geez, it continues to be stinking hot. There's folks. Farmer Roz. It's almost dark. She's putting some vinyl tiles on the roof. I'll go around the other side and show you what happened with the front so far. So you can see the doors are hinged and on, the frames made, we've got the handles on most of the trays now so they slide out well. Um, I think it's looking alright. It's probably not the most professional job you'd ever see, but it's okay. So at long last folks, there we have it, Quailtropolis, the new Quailtropolis for the new Quail Corner. Well, hopefully you've enjoyed watching this little fellow be born. Um, the quails are loving it, I've got to tell you. I've got them in with a lot of dirt, really, really loose, fine river sand, and they just bloody love it. So, much happier quails. And certainly looks a hell of a lot better than all this shit, which is what I used to have there. That'll go, probably I'll keep some of the wood to re-salvage, and the rest will go to the damn dump.